Big moment today in Royal Oak for a lot of people who've been working to construct a permanent memorial to those who served in World War II. It was the dedication ceremony for phase one of the Michigan World War II Legacy Memorial. Tim Pamplin was there. It was a beautiful afternoon here in Royal Oak 13 in Woodward at the Memorial Park. The dedication of the Michigan World War II Legacy Memorial. Folks came out to remember their dearly departed. This was a particularly poignant afternoon for one Congresswoman, Debbie Dingell. You know, I'm honored that they asked me to be here, but what I really today think about John, who was a World War II veteran, but I don't think people appreciate the role or know the history of what the Michigan soldiers did to defend our country. Phase one included the flags, all members the armed forces represented as their flags one by one raised above Woodward Avenue. There aren't many World War II vets left and for Oakland County Exec Dave Coulter it was a particularly proud moment when Royal Oak in the heart of Oakland County was selected for this memorial. Every day we lose some more and it won't be long before there are no living World War II veterans from Michigan left and it's going to be these kinds of memorials that help us remember not only them but what they fought for and what they stood for. So it's just it's a beautiful day here in Oakland County. Cliff Alvira, D-Day, thank you sir for your service. About a dozen or so World War II survivors made their way to the park today to take part in this heart touching moment and tribute to them all. It was topped off just about an hour ago with a flyby of the Yankee Lady B-17. As Debbie Dingle said, we must never forget those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. In Royal Oak this afternoon, Tim Pamplin, Local 4. That's really just lovely. And as Dave Coulter said, we're losing these veterans so quickly. That's right. Got to hurry these kind of right. moments for them to be able, be able to, to enjoy, enjoy them. it. Yeah. Exactly. And a beautiful day for it, too. We want to show you a rendering of what the finished memorial will look like. They still need to raise money for the next phases. If you'd like to contribute, we've posted that information on clickondetroit.com.